the new science that is the new physics of quantum mechanics, which emphasizes that it's the invisible energy world that is primary and the material world is actually an expression of the energy world. That says that instead of focusing on the material plane, the new science focuses on energy. Well, energy is thought, consciousness, uh, energy is love. You can feel the energy of love and harmony and peace. These are non-tangible energetic uh, realities. So rather than seeking the new Humvee or, or buying the, the, the latest, greatest new technology, the new civilization will say, look, love is more important, harmony is more important, living in community is more important. This conforms to the new science of energy, physics, quantum mechanics. And the other big change comes from the world of genetics. The old belief in genetic control is a belief that we are victims of forces outside of us. We are victims of the genes. As far as we know, we didn't pick the genes. We can't change the genes. If you don't like your traits, that's too bad. You're stuck with your genes. You're a victim. So we teach the uh, science of victimization that your fate is not in your hands, it's in your genes. You have something running in your family, then you might have to expect that that's just a way of life and you had nothing to do with it, but you have to live with it. So that belief system of genetic control is transitioned into a new belief system in the new science called epigenetic control. Now, the words are almost the same. Genetic control means control by genes. Epigenetic control, the little epi prefix is so profound it changes civilization. Epi means above. So when I say the word epidermis, it means skin, the layer above the dermis. When I say epigenetic control, what I'm actually saying is control above the genes. The relevance? The control is not in the genes. The control is in our perception of the world, our consciousness, and our mind. Relevance? Old story, you're a victim of genes. New story, you have the potential to be the master because if you change your perception, change your belief, you change your genetics to correspond with that. So we're not the victims of our genetics more than the victims of the beliefs that we hold. And since we can change beliefs, then all of a sudden we're no longer the victims, we have the opportunity to be the master. So we're moving into a world taking us out of a world of victimization, competition in a Darwinian world, extraction of physical material wealth from the planet to prove our, our success in the Darwinian competition. And we're moving into a world that's based on love, harmony, balance, energy, uh, the invisible, intangible aspects of life as being more primary than the mechanical ones. And the belief, most importantly, that we are masters of our health, our biology, and the life that we live on this planet.